Welcome back, Traveler to Slaughter Havoc here, and we are back playing a little more Sev Tech Ages. And okay, so I want to say something right off the bat because I just think it's so funny that I was getting prepped and ready for this episode, and I was going to need a lot of leather. So I was in the process of making a ton of leather, and so I needed a whole bunch of bark so then I could throw it over here and get a whole bunch of the resin. And literally, as I was in the process, I get a little notification, and I'm sorry if I butcher your name, but Toaster Uriel or Yuri, I can't tell if it's an I or an L, um, had literally just posted a comment, and you can see the bear trees over here, I mean, moments ago, um, talking about how shift right clicking with the uh, work blade is how I can get it off the trees, and so I left the trees bare just in the process of doing it. Uh, that was just absolutely excellent timing, because I, I literally was just about to start hitting record when I saw the message pop up, so... But I, I want to kind of show you some things that we've been doing since obviously this looks way different than uh, when I left off. Um, I need some vegetables real quick. Where, where be, beets are considered vegetables, right? Yeah, they are. Okay, let's go cook these guys up. I don't know if I have anything on the grill. And then I'll kind of give you guys the rundown of what's been going on and what we've got planned for today. So while that's cooking, as you can see, I have kind, kind of have a house. And I keep climbing up walls, and I'll explain all that in a second. But I'm pretty sure you can kind of figure it out after last episode. But <sighs> let me tell you, um, building, right? I like doing stone and wood. Like, I, I always hear people say there's two kinds of builders, stone builders and wood builders. And traditionally, I like to do both, right? I kind of like to get a little bit incorporated, but I thought with the theme of age one, going stone didn't feel quite right. Not yet, but... I have decided as of now, this is home. We are going to stay here. This is where it's going to be. And I think it looks kind of quaint right now with like the little paths and stuff like that. And Mr. Cow over there. Yes, I got a cow actually <laughs> powering my grinder right now. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I like it. Um, the house is going to get expand out as we expand. But I want to keep it feeling like an actual home. That is the goal. Now, obviously, there's no roof on top, and let me tell you why. It takes forever to chop all this wood, and then chop it on the chopping block, and then build. Huh. Yes, it took a minute. But let me kind of give you the rundown of what's been going on. So after we figured out how to do the totems here, right? And so I've got my speed totem, and I've got my, my jump boost totem over here. I, You know, I people always build houses, and they kind of do the, um, the logs in the corners. So I thought, why not make it a little bit different, right? Give a little texture to it, but use the totems, and then I can use them for some of their abilities. So like out here, these are set as ocelot, so if any creeper just happens to come by, at least it won't blow up the front of my house. That's oh, my logic. Yeah, I don't know if it's any good, but sure. And as you can see, I can climb right up the walls because I added spider to, I don't know, one or two of these. I think I have one on each side. That way I can always climb up the walls and just continue to build and stuff like that. Didn't need ladders or anything like that. And I made it a little bit taller because I do want to kind of make a second floor idea. So this will probably always stay as like the main floor right here. I don't plan on expanding that out, but I will expand off uh, starting on the second floors and stuff like that. So what is that over there? What is that? Can anybody tell me what that is? It doesn't look like is it a glitch. I got to go see. I don't know what the heck that is, but I need to go see. That looked really weird. I don't know if it was a glitch in the screen or what, but there was definitely something wavering right here. I don't know. Is there something in here? Ooh. I don't want to get buried in sand. I don't know what that was. That was very curious. Very curious, but let's go sleep it off and we'll get today going. So, so I got a little bit done in the meantime, um, building wise for the most part, I did kind of start prepping some things for today's episode. It's all stuff we've done before. So it was nothing new, like the leather and whatnot, but I, like I told you, I want to do pretty much everything on camera. And with that being said, I don't want to do a lot off camera. So other than the building stuff, which you guys always, I always ask, but I never actually get a response. So I just kind of take it as no one wants to see it. If you guys ever want to see the way I build and stuff like that, let me know. Um, I'll take your silence as no, we could care less, but yeah, 
Um, some people really like watching building. I personally am not a great builder, so I figure people don't really care what my build style is like or how many times I redo a room and stuff like that, but it's all good. Um, and then, yeah, and then before we really get rolling, I will tell you, uh, we're not going to be knocking out these two quite yet because I have done some adventuring and man, I wish I had a map to show you how much area I've covered, how much boating around I've done, uh, just trying to find a village. I found a villager. I found a house or a shack or whatever you want to call it in the middle of absolute nowhere. And there was a butcher in it, but that's all I found so far. I've still yet to find a village and I've ventured off. I don't know how many blocks off in this direction and kind of off in this area. And I've just had no luck finding a village yet. So we'll kind of have to bypass those for not bypass, but just kind of come back to them later. Um, because I don't want to continue. I don't want to spend time on camera out trying to find them. Cause if I can't find it when I'm off camera, I, that would just be a huge waste of time. So we do want to kind of start off or pick up where we left off. Now I want to mess with the totem stuff, but not at this moment right now, because there's a couple things I want to get. I want to get the auto chopping block so I can set it up over by the auto grinder. Cause I'm thinking I can pretty much set it up the same way. And if that's the case, that'll just make chopping wood so much easier. And that's why I have all this leather that I was doing because I'm going to need quite a bit of leather, uh, for these things right here. Yeah, for the leather strips to make the leads. Now, the recipe, I forget, is two leads, a flint, sticks, and a log. That's, that's super simple. I just need to make the leads. Now, string has been a challenge. However, when I was out and about, I did find myself some sheep. Sorry, I've got the hiccups and... Uh... I had to drink a little water. Um, I did find some of my sheep, and so I sheared them, and I get some ball of got, got some balls of fleece, and so I can then turn these into oh, I can do it with shears too. Shears give me four. Does the knife give me the same? Yeah, they both give me four. So let's use the knife because it has more durability. So at least we're stocked up on string now. I've got fifty-two string. So string not an issue, at least not for a while, right? Okay. And then I don't have any leather prepped yet. So we're going to go ahead and just pull down all this leather. I think I had like two or three pieces left in the chest over here. Uh, but I, you know what? Might as well make some extra. I've got a lot of hides and so I or pelts or whatever it was. And so I was able to make quite a bit. Like I still got, man, hiccups, 12 cow pelts. <gasps> okay. I'm going to be right back after this hiccup stops. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. I just I couldn't keep hiccuping on while I was recording. That was just really annoying me. Um, so work blade. I'm gonna need two leads, and then I want to make a couple extra because I want to bring back some animals as well uh, to our house over here. And so to do that, I'm gonna need to make some leads. Now I can't I, I can't stress this enough. I can't wait until I don't have to use this table anymore. But I do, I, I'm still going to say, I really like what it adds. I like the not just doing mass crafting and stuff like that. Um, oh, wrong one. That's the wrong recipe. I need this recipe, right? You, this is potentially 15 leads. <laughs> and one, two, three. I'm only going to make like maybe four right now just because I do want to bring some animals back and uh, start kind of not farming necessarily, but I think that's in keeping with the theme of where we're at in the the world right now is we're pretty much a farmer, right? We're, we're kind of living off the land and I think bringing some animals in and maybe getting a couple, if not for meat, but for, like get some sheep over here so I can, you know, pretty much have unlimited string. That would be uh, very beneficial as well as um, maybe try to get some chickens so we can get some eggs and just have another source of protein so I don't have to kill animals. And I do need to go find another cow because I'm not going to use old Bessie over there. Bessie's going to stay around for a while um, to make a buffalo, which I'm kind of excited to do today. That is part of the Totec. To what is the name of that mod? Totemic, Totemic is to uh, turn a cow into a buffalo. So I'm kind of excited about that as well. Now I have scared myself 
like three different times now breaking the stinking stump and I'm getting scared I'm getting close to that point again because it usually breaks right around the same time that my, my rock breaks and as you can see my rocks getting low but uh, I literally I record in the dark and so every time the it's just such a loud bang it's it's it has actually startled me a couple times so um, okay, so we've got enough for 15 leads. Now, I'm not going to make 15 right now. I just wanted to make all that up while we were talking and kind of getting caught up on what's going on. What's going on in the world of myself, I guess. And one more for good measure. You know what? I'll get two more. Kind of actually want to do like three more. Um, so I can bring a couple animals back while we're out in case I find any. Oh, wait, no, you go there. Now, what am I doing? I'm doing this backwards. There. And there. So now I've got two for the recipe and three to do other stuff with. Cool. And I'll just put the string and stuff back in here. String there. Leather there. Cool. And we've got the leads. All right. So I need flint, wood, and sticks. Not a problem. Sticks, wood, and flint. So sticks were like this. Wood was there, flint and leads, and bingo, bingo, no binking today, I'm not binking today. And there we go, there we got the chopping block. Now, do I have, how much, I've got one, uh, how many planks, I don't have any planks right now. What I might actually do is chop up a few more just, well, I guess I can chop these trees down now. Um, so I can make another hopper setup, and so anything that needs to get chopped can just get thrown in there and chopped right up. Um, I'm going to leave that tree because I don't want to have to hassle with getting all the wood out of the leaves. I did notice something that's really cool, and I'm starting to understand why the forests are so thick. The way this is set up, apparently saplings just kind of get planted on their own. Um, I, I mean, kind of like a natural forest would actually work and stuff like that. And so every so often you'll just see like, I'm not the one putting these saplings down. These saplings are all kind of happy natural. And I think that's really cool. And really what made me notice it was this sapling over here is from that tree. And there just happened to be a sapling sitting on the ground. And that's when I really took notice that these trees are actually kind of creating themselves, I guess. I, I, I guess that's a way to put it. They're creating themselves. Sorry, okay. So let us whoop, throw some wood in here. Um, is this what I wanted to do? Yes, I need planks. That way I can make up two more chests and then two more hoppers. I'm gonna need a decent amount of planks for that. I think I actually might need more than what I just made because I forgot you only get two planks per piece of wood right now. So pick all this up and see how much we have. We're gonna need four chests and an extra 10 planks. That's not even gonna give me four chests. I need eight, 16, 24, 32. That's barely gonna give me the chests, okay. So grab the stone. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry if I keep breaking out guys, I hate it, but for whatever reason, like if I, I record late at night, I seem to get the hiccups when I record. I don't know what causes it, but it it happens a lot and I never get the hiccups. So it's kind of strange in that sense, but, and my rock broke, which means I can't use that one because I need that. Do I have any cobble over here? I don't have any cobble. I'm gonna have to go down and get some. Oh my goodness. So the spider attribute, kind of cool at times, kind of annoying at times. But you know what? I'll put up with annoyance when, for when the times it is useful, so. <clears throat> All right, so I've got two chests done, right? Yes, two. I need two more, and then I'm gonna need just a few more planks. I I, I don't know how I feel about the, <clears throat> I don't know, smart movement or whatever mod that causes the running. That I'm constantly running up this thing when I'm trying to craft, and it's a little bit annoying. I wish this was like one, just, just one. Put them back. Uh, like one pixel higher so I wouldn't run up it. It's the only thing I really stand next to when I'm recording so or when I'm uh, like crafting and stuff like that. Everything else is just kind of 
you know, whatever. But <sighs> I guess I, you know, I've always got to find something to complain about, right? <clears throat> Man, I cannot stop these hiccups. All right, we'll sleep this off and <clears throat> then we'll get this uh, chop, chop, chop set up. And then we'll have auto chopping or chopping um, automated for the most part. And that will be great. Um, so I need a total of 10 more. That's, are you kidding me? I'm one short. That's going to give me nine. <sighs> I can't win. There we go. All right. As long as the tree is falling apart, that's, there we go. That's all I care about. All right, cool. Now we'll have enough because I needed 10 more. Um, so that's going to give me 16, right? Whatever. Can't have too many planks. Especially when my house is completely made out of oak wood right now. So, And I'll probably try to add some color and texture changes and stuff like that as time goes on. But this was just to get a more homey feel. I hate, you know, that feel of... <clears throat> like, you know, living out of a, a hole in the ground or whatever. I'd like to have something a little bit more substantial. And so I, I, I just, I had to take the time to actually build something. I mean, it's not the greatest build by any means. So that's obvious just by looking at it, but it was kind of, kind of necess uh, kind of a necessity. Oh, I thought you would have fallen. Thank you. Okay. So I think I'll combine these two tracks so they'll kind of run into each other. All right. So it's one, two, three. So one, two, three. And then this is where that's going to go. So let me put a block right here so I can make the hopper go into it because I'm not even going to tr try to do what I was doing the other time with the hopper just going random places. Um, and then we're going to put the chop, chop, chopper. Where are you? Where, where's the chop, chop, chopper? At? There it is. I'm going to put you right here. Perfect. And then a hopper going down into you. I hope this works on this thing. I don't know if it does or not, but there we go. Oh, this is like one block higher. I'm not 100% sure this is going to work. Well, no, I should be able to reach that chest up there. Um... I need to go get jump boost. Jump boost, please. Thank you. Boop. There we go. And then chest on top. Perfect. Now take you out. Chest right there. And I don't need any sticks. Let me go grab a, a couple pieces of wood just to test this out. Proof of concept. Because if I can start automating stuff, this is awesome. This is like... Aid zero automation. Who would have thunk it? All right, so let's go ahead and put you in there. Yes, you do work. Awesome. And I, oh, I can put you in there too. Awesome. Now, let me go grab this other horse with one of my trusty leads over here. Come here, you. Come on, buddy. Let's go. You're getting hooked up over here. There you go. Get to work. All right. And we're going to give you a path to walk around on. Uh, let's see. Did one white each. So there we go. I just kind of got to be universal, right? Kind of need it to look somewhat similar. And there we go. And there's a little horse path. I think that's pretty awesome. I'm going to close you up. I made a wood chopping. I love it. So I can just keep throwing wood in there every now and then and let it do its thing. <clears throat> That's outstanding. All right, cool. So we did finish this one. And then finally, there's a press charcoal into larger blocks using the horsepower. Okay. I'm not worried about that at the moment, but I do want to take a look at this wheel. This wheel intrigues me because as I looked at the wheel... It was attached to a cart that you can hook horses up to. I think that's really cool. And that's super simple. That's just a plank and some sticks. I can do that super simple. Um, move the other way, you guys. So there. 
and then just wrap it up in sticks. It's an interesting wheel, but there we go. Thank you. The wheels on the bus, okay? And then that leads to the very next achievement, which is this cart right here. And you are used to make the cart. Now that is two of these primal chests, two wheels, a plank and three, or sorry, three planks and a slab. Now I should be able to make all of this um, because I have <clears throat> the wood in there. Where's it at? Right there. I think it was that wood that I needed. And that means I'm going to have to make a couple more chests, right? You're used to make this. So it's two of these. Nope. Sorry. Didn't want to do that. Um, there we go. So it's four planks, four of those, and a chest. So I'm going to need two chests. So we're going to need two more. All right, good thing I'm making all these planks, huh? Hey, come on. Come on. Good grief. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something about that spider. That spider is oh. annoying a little bit. Um, oops. Put you. Oh, come on. Grab you back. Oh. Grab you. That should be good enough. All right. So chest, 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 like a so with rock in the middle. Such an interesting recipe for a chest. I don't understand the addition of the rock. That's kind of a confusing one by me, but you know, I'm not complaining. It's not all that difficult to make. Okay. And then I need, and this is wood, not planks. I need to go turn these into planks as well. Come on. And you're done just in time for some more planks. There you go. Get to work. Get to work, boy. It's so much easier. Oh, this is this is great. Absolutely great. Um, two chests. I got those coming. Cool. And then I'm gonna need more of the bark. I need four per. So let's just go strip this tree down. Thank you for telling me about shift right clicking. Such a beautiful thing. And that's four for one. That's four for the other. Awesome. Now I need eight planks. So hopefully you're you're working fast over here, right? You're working fast, right? Good horsey. Can I grab that, please? Thank you. Oh, eight. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're getting there. We are getting there. All right. So it was you, 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 and you like that and um, let's move my potato out of the way for a second and the chest and I need my rock perfect this is we're coming along we are progressing I'm liking it I'm really interested in this cart though because it says you can hook up a horse to it and I'm wondering if I can hook up like my saddled horse and then kind of take him around and have like extra storage kind of like a donkey in a sense <clears throat> i don't know if that's how it works but that's what i'm hoping for we're definitely going to test that theory out pretty quickly you 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 and you okay cool and then the rest of the recipe was three planks a slab and two wheels so i need another wheel that i can do easy peasy Easy peasy macaroni and cheese. Like so. There we go. And now I need to make a slab. And it didn't scare me this time. That's that's a bright side. It didn't scare me. But I, I break those pretty often, actually. Alright, so I need to go get a couple more pieces of wood here. So I can make another one of those. I think this is like the fourth or fifth one I've made. I didn't expect him to break that. I actually, the first time I broke it scared scared me because I didn't, wasn't expecting it to happen. And then I just started kind of getting in the habit of it happening and almost got used to it. Dang, hiccups. Okay, let's check our hunger real quick. I need to be eating fruit right now, fruit or vegetables. So let's munch on some berries real quick. <laughs> Awesome. And go away. And now for this. You and you. Plank. Or not plank slab. 
There's that. And the two chests. And boom, 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 boom. And now we got the cart. Okay. And I believe I just set this on the ground. So let's go test this thing out. I'm excited about this. I'm excited. So do I just set you on the ground? I do. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, you can like ride in it. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I'm auto running. Why am I auto running? What did I hit that made me auto run? Why am I auto running? What was that? What was... Y'all see that little sim the symbols that popped up a second ago? What was that? Oh, that's interesting. I'm just pressing random buttons now and learning new random things. How do I stop auto running? Why am I auto running? <laughs> I don't know how to... Oh, no. And I'm going to auto sprint now. Um, how do I stop this? Okay, cool. There. I don't know what was happening there, but that was interesting. Okay. So it says, and I was, well, wait, where'd my horse go? Where'd my horse go? Oh, I left this open. Oh, where's my saddle? Where's my horse? Where'd you go, man? Where you at? You gotta be around here somewhere, right? Where'd you go? Horsey. Horsey. Oh, goodness. I lost my horse. He's got my saddle on. I got to be able to find him. Let's go sleep off the night and let's go find Horsey. Oh, how did I lose my horse? How did I freaking not put the wood or dirt back in there? Um, or yeah, you came up here somewhere, I bet. I bet you came up here. There you are. Get over here, you. Okay, so it says you press... Oh, uh, what is it? Um, R, I think it was. R? Is it when I'm on the horse? R? Okay, hold on. It might just be an issue with keys. I looked this up earlier. It's the mod... Oh, what's it called? It starts with the A. Ast Asticore? So let's go ahead and switch that to, oh, that's taken. Can I not, okay, there we go. So five, five. Um, do I have to be on you to do it? Okay, oh, he's hooked up. He's hooked up. The cart's coming with us. Oh, is this cart gonna spaz out? Yeah, it is. Not a problem, we've got this. This is nifty. Okay. So now my my curiosity peaks on the fact that, first of all, if I leave you hooked up, does that mean you're not going to leave? Like, I can leave you parked over here? Can I leave you parked over here? Like this? Are you going to take off? Or are you stuck to the cart? And then does this have an inventory? No. Can I place the stuff in you? Are you moving or what? What's going on here? That cart is moving. Stop moving. I don't know what good the cart's for. Because right-clicking sits me in it. Can I put an item in? No. Um, shift right-click. Ah, cart. Oh, wow. That's got a pretty good storage in it. Hmm. I might set up a couple of these just for storage purposes. Okay, this is really going to annoy me that this is moving like that. Um, We're going to go park you over here for right now. Stay. Don't move. This cart is moving. Come on, stop moving. All right, if I press five, will that disconnect you? Yeah, okay. We'll pick up that cart and put it somewhere else for right now. But that's a pretty decent sized storage. And let's fill this back in so you don't go anywhere. You stay. Okay, and can I just wood chop you up? Or are you kind of like just stuck here? Can I drag you? No. Can I push you? <laughs> I don't want you right here. You're kind of in the way of stuff. Um, I really thought, oh, okay. I was like, I really thought wood chopping would work. So, so let's place this guy back down. We'll place you right here because you just look like a good storage. There we go. Cool. We got a cart. That's outstanding. 
Um, <clears throat> ne- Ooh, I see stuff for Better With Mods. I don't know the mod very well, but I'm excited about that. Okay, so a gear. How do we make a gear? Gear. That is buffalo teeth, I think. And red cedar plank. Okay, so we've got the cedar covered. Cedar's right there. And then I've got... Oh, and the other one grew right there. Cool. That was perfect timing to point that out. Um, so I need to get the buffalo teeth. So that takes us to our totemic stuff that I want to do. So I'm going to clear out my inventory real quick. Um, just because I don't need all this stuff right now. And this is my trash can now. I just throw stuff out the window. Bye. And let's put some wood away. And we'll put you away. What don't I need? I don't need you. I don't need you. I've got too much of that stuff. Um, I don't need the cobble right now. The flint I can put away. Oh, this is... Let me do this real quick. Boop. Get rid of some of that stuff. I love that it just auto-fills where there's other like items. That's really, really cool. Okay, let me get all my useful tools up here out of the way. Food back here. Um, oh, Flint, I took you also. That's why you didn't get put away. Okay. And you and you and potatoes and you. Okay. I've got like nine useful items now. Awesome. <laughs> so we'll put you there and let's go put this torch down. I don't really have a necessity for them anymore because I can sleep the nights now, but still use them just in case. I'm liking the, I, I'm really liking the feel of this area right now. I don't know how you guys feel, but I like it. Hey, give me those potatoes. All right. And we'll go put those in the chest over here. There we go. All right. So totemic time. Totemic time. Uh, wait, let's put these rocks away. Uh, right there. Okay. So the buffalo ritual, I think, was pretty easy. Um, ceremonies. Um, hold on. Let's go back. Um, to tell me basic buffaloes. Okay. The mighty buffalo, uh, the mandane buffalo dance. Okay. That's the one we got to look up. I think that's one of the easier ones. I believe, uh, ceremonies, mandane buffalo dance. Okay, cool. This is drum and chime. So we're going to have to make some chimes. I can definitely do that. Let's see chimes. I don't know what the recipe is, but I'm assuming we can do that. Uh, three sticks, two string, a flint, a bone, and two sugar. Do I have any bone? I do not have any bone. Off to hunt. It's time to hunt. I should probably bring a sword that's not going to break in two swings. Let's go get a little bit of cobble. And I just threw some away. Oh, beets. Beets are done. I don't really need two swords, but whatever. Okay, so there we go, and you, and now I guess I can just throw you guys away, and the stone is right there. Hey, didn't I put a stick down? I put a stick down, didn't I? I thought I did. All right, cool. So we're going to go, oh, the, it's already broken. That would have been really bad. Okay, so you're done. You have been retired, sword. It's now time for stone sword. Guess we gotta go find an animal to slaughter. Um, you know what? I kinda wanna venture off and see if we find anything this way. Just because I have a feeling like, I wanna go leave my rock here. Um, I have a feeling, this is you know just a feeling, but we're not gonna go this way too often. And I'm gonna concentrate on the like the animals that are on my island a little bit more and I don't wanna like wipe them all out. So we're gonna go venture out and see if we can go find an animal. Or a group of animals, I should say and um find ourselves a bone <clears throat> oh there's an island right there let's go that way how did you load for a second and then go away come back okay oh is that a swamp oh it's a swampy biome all right sword at the ready um hopefully i don't keep crashing into these lily pads dodge lily pads there we go and new biome mushrooms. Nice. Turn. Please have animals on this island. Please. Pretty, pretty, please. I love this boat. Or not the boat. The raft. The raft is awesome. And I'm kind of thinking it's kind of unique because 
I know if I had a boat, I'd probably be able to like, you know, take my animals around. And since I don't have a boat, I can't. And so that kind of adds a slight level of difficulty. Oh my goodness. What were you doing? You leave me alone. Okay, I saw something over here. Was this a bear? Can I take on a bear? Oh, this is your pee pee pee. What's your, what's your, what's your buggy? I can't kill mama. No, we're going to leave you guys. I can't kill mama. Oh, there's a baby bear. I didn't know there was baby bears. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, there's all this freaking stuff that slows me down. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hear sheep. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh! Hey. That's a lot of potential string right there. Let's get the shears out. Where are you at? There you are. Thank you. This was a much more useful trip than I thought it was going to be. You guys are running because I'm shearing you? I'm not even attacking. I'm just shearing. I thought you were. There you are. Oh, there's another one. Oh, all this string. Oh, all this string. String for days. You know what? I'm never going to come back to like try to collect you guys. Am I? Oh, another useful one right there. Come here, you. Come here, you. Get over here. Please give me a bone. I only need one. I just need one bone. Nope. I'm sorry, guys. It's got to happen, okay? It's got to happen. Aha, bone. Got it. That's all we needed. We just needed the one. Now, the bear was right there, which means we came from this direction, right? I was like, um, yeah, I should probably remember that. I did get a bone, right? Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Neener, neener, shark. Neener, neener. You can't get me. Cool. That was... Usually my adventures don't usually go that efficiently. <laughs> usually it takes forever to get the one item that I need. So that was pretty awesome. I wonder what the house looks like from a distance. Probably looks like poop. But I'm, I'm hoping it looks cool. I don't even see... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it doesn't look really cool. It just looks like a, a wooden box. But the teepee is pretty cool looking. I gotta say that. That teepee is pretty cool addition. And I didn't know that that's actually part of Totemic as well. That's a pretty cool addition. There's a lot of sand right there. I got a lot of resources on this island, I gotta say. Am I being chased? I'm being chased by piranhas. Screw you, piranhas! Get away from me. Get off. Our, you're on my raft. Get off my raft. You sank my raft. Hey, where'd you go? Bugger off, okay? You guys really can't do anything. Those things are annoying. All right. Give my raft back. Okay. Oh, perfect time for sleep. Now we can get our buffalo ritual done. And I'm going to have to go grab a cow. I don't want to use my cow. I don't. But I may have to. It might It might have to happen. Uh, let's sleep it off. Maybe I can breed a couple cows before I do this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't want to do it. I, there's more cows on this island. And I've got leads now. So I can bring a couple cows back with me. So let's go hunt down cows. Actually, I just need one cow because I can breed. I can get tons of horses. Um, I could have brought my horse for this ride, but apparently I don't think ahead. Okay, I know I saw a couple cows on my last venture out, so I know there's some around here. I just need to get one back. I don't know if I already have Bessie. What's what's going to be the name of my other cow? Um. Come on. I know you're around here. I saw you. You were here. You were over in this area. I know you're here. We're going to find you. So, uh, basically with the buffalo, you do an enchant like an enchantment, I guess is probably the best word I could think of for it. Um, you do a ritual or a ceremony. That's that's what it is, a ceremony, and you turn a cow into a buffalo. Sure. Sounds reasonable. 
Okay, where, oh, where are you at, cows? I know I still got some on this island. I need to start breeding a couple up so I don't... Well, so I don't kill off the cow population. Um. Oh, I heard. Oh, oh, what? What is this? What is this? Anti-player? What is an anti-player? Why is he on my island? I just have a feeling you're gonna try to hurt me. Go away. Go away. Oh, I hear the cow. Go away. You have a fish. How do you have a fish? Okay. Um, where's my leads? My lead. Where are you at? I hear you. Where are you at? You are over here. Directional hearing. I hear the footsteps. Hmm. Where are you, cow? Where are you? I hear you. You are somewhere over here, right? Are you like in this tree? Oh, there you are. Okay. Let's go. So what's your name? What is your name? What's okay. If the other one is Bessie, which would have to be a girl, right? Then what is your name? Your name is Brutus, Brutus and Bessie. I like those names. I'm running out of places to go. I, what? Come on, you. Come on, you. Let's go. Come on. This is going to take a minute. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh my gosh, that's a long walk back. Okay. Well, we got the cow. So we're heading in the we're we're heading towards where we want to go. And I can breed you and then Then I'll have two cows left and then we'll make a buffalo. So let's go, let's go. Don't fall in the hole. I hear footsteps, so we're still good. We're almost there. Come on, dude. Come on. No need to make this longer than it has to be. Oh, my lead broke. Why did my lead break and why? You, come on. God, I should call you a mule. You're stubborn. No, this way. Come on. All right, let's go. There we go. So what I think I'm going to do is just dig out a hole for you guys. Why can't I dig that one block right there? What is special about that one? Oh, my shovel broke. <sighs> Always breaking tools. I wonder if... Well, you know what? The lead can break now. Come on. Did you just... How? Really? You stay there for a second. Do I have any of that cobblestone still lying around? No. I guess I'm going to have to go get a piece of cobblestone. Yeah, I'm going to have to do away with the spider. Climbing up this tree is becoming rather annoying. I really need to fix that a little bit. All right, let's go get a shovel. Or make a shovel, I should say. Shush. Brutus? Is that what I called him? Brutus? Well, if I did, it wasn't, now it is. Brutus and Bessie. Or did I call him Butch? What did I call him? I don't remember. Um, I'm just... There you go. It's easier to do that. All right, where'd you go? There you are. You stay there for a second. We're going to go make a hole over here. There we go. A nice little hole for you lovers to make nice with each other. All right, come on, homie. Oh. All right, you with me. Let's go, homie. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Come on, dude. Come on. Through the window something. Come on. Really? Come on. Get out of the, get out of this corner over here. What is come on, you There you go. Come on. Out the door. Oh my goodness. What the heck? You let's go. Come on, you jumped through a window. You can walk through a door. Come on. Okay, it's not just me. This isn't right, right? Like, my lead should not be stretching this far. <laughs> this, 
This is not right. What is going on here? Okay, let's let's take this lead off and try this again. Okay, you. Hey, where'd the lead go? It didn't like go somewhere crazy, did it? Wait, where did my lead go? Did it, like slingshot somewhere? Did it originally break and it kind of fake broke and didn't actually do it? I don't know. Frick, I'm going to have to make another lead. Come on, you. Let's go. There we go. Get over here. Of course you dodged the hole. Get. Dumb as a box of rocks, but knows how to dodge a hole. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I got two leads again. What the heck? Okay. You, come here. There you go. Gotcha. Come on, give me my jump. Give me my jump boost. Give me my jump boost. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to breed them up real quick to get a baby cow. And then once I get a third cow, I'm going to go ahead and get set up for the uh, ritual. And then we'll come back and make the chimes and all that stuff. So we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Whoa, that was loud. Sorry about that little break. It was just I had to go uh, drink some water and kind of walk around for a second because the hiccups were just absolutely killing me. But I got both cows in the hole over there and got them bred up. And then I went and found myself a new horse seed to horsepower that. And now we are ready to make our wind chimes. So I'm going to need some sugar cane, the bone I got, two string, flint. Okay. So sticks, I put you right there. Flint, I put you right there. Um, the bone is on me. And string, I need you. And then we need to go grab some sugar. Wait, do I have any sugar cane in here? I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to do something about that. I have to go kill those. All right. And sugar cane. Got two. Perfect. We've got enough to make the wind chimes. And then we can make our mighty, mighty buffalo. And get our tooth and all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and... It was flint in the middle. Then bone. Then sugar cane. Then string and sticks the only thing i'm not 100 percent sure about it right now is the bone and the flint but i think i got it right yes i did okay cool all right so looking back at our thing here it's the drum and that so let's grab well we're gonna grab all these because we want to make sure we get this thing to work properly okay and apparently now i'm going to need a buffalo hole so you're going to be the buffalo hole Actually, I don't know if I want to do it this close because it might affect them over there. I don't know what like the range is um, for these rituals or these ceremonies. So if I put all the stuff like over here, it might affect this, but not affect them. I think that should be a good. That's a pretty. Uh, let's go do this in a safer location. Let's not do this here. Just need to. Be smart, right? I don't want to change all my cows over to buffaloes right now. And um, I pissed, apparently I was missing one piece of dirt. Okay, so over here, this is going to be our buffalo hole. <laughs> this should definitely be far enough. I don't, I'm not even concerned about this now. This should definitely be far enough. All right. So let's come over here and... Grab one of you guys. Come with me, homie. You're about to become a big bad buffalo. And you can do that. Okay. Let's go. Not over that hole because you will be stupid enough to fall in there. There we go. Disconnect your lead. And put you in there. All right, cool. So we need a wind chime hanging. This should work right here wind chime okay and then we'll put our drum right here right yes and then we need to make you know what i should have a a, a piece of wood in here that i can use i just need there you go just need the one come on and we'll put you right here. Pull out ye old knifey here. And 
totem base. Okay. Got the drum. Um, I watched the video. Give me a beautiful idea to put the rattle in other hand, right? And so it was drum then chime, right? So shift right click, shift right click. Okay, hold on. The rattle's probably messing things up. So let's try this. Shift right click. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we'll put this in this hand and it'll be like this. Oh, you gotta be faster than that. Okay, so that failed. Do I need to switch these two? Oh, and then you just hold right click. Oh, that works, okay. Shift, shift. I'm gonna take you out of my hand first. Okay, let's try that again. So, shift right click, shift right click. Shift. Why isn't this working? There we go, okay. Then we'll put you up here and go to town. There we go. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Buffalo dance. And we got a baby buffalo. We've got ourselves a baby buffalo. And then I believe if you feed it wheat, you can grow them up really, really quick. Like, um, I don't know if barley works, but I think the wheat it said, you can just grow them up real quick. Like they'll just keep eating. Okay, let's go try some barley. I don't have a lot of wheat right now. I can always go get more, but I don't have a lot, but I got a decent amount of barley. I think the barley works too. Okay, let's take that out of that hand. Nope, barley does not work, so it's only wheat. So we're gonna have to wait a minute for this guy to grow up, um, but I think we're gonna probably have to breed a couple of these. So what I might do, is, does barley work on the cows? Oh, and you're still a baby anyway. So I think that was pretty successful. Um, now, I'm pretty sure I have to collect the hide and the teeth or whatever. So that's going to be a different achievement. I don't have the teeth to do this yet. Um, I guess, you know, we've got about five or six minutes left. Let's look into this press. Because if that's doable, we can kind of finish up with that. Uh, two leads, a stick. Um, yeah, we get it. We, oh, yeah, we've got that. Um, let's do it. Let's go make this press and see what this is all about. All right. So I've got my two leads. Bink, bink. Oh, no, I binked. I said I wasn't going to bink, and I did. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Can you guys ever forgive me? That's a legit question. Because I, the binking, just, it needs to stop. No binking. Um, get these guys out. Oh, no. I need to take you guys out. See, I keep throwing slabs and stuff away, or the... God, why do I keep calling them slabs? They're not slabs. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, these are slabs. What am I talking about? All right. Uh, do I have any more wood in the auto chopper? I don't. Let's go chop this tree down really quickly. I need a couple more planks, and then... Yes, I think this would be a good way to finish up. I'm, I'm very happy with progress thus far. I, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm thinking I'm doing way better than that. You know, I am, but I'm happy with what's going on. So let's go ahead and throw those up there. Get to work, horsey. It's time for you to earn your keep around here. I did try to hook up a second one and try to see if that would like speed up the, uh, the process by like hooking two horses. That doesn't work. Just one. That's as fast as it's going to go. And I'm okay by that. We'll, we'll, we'll survive there. Oh, hey, open back up. Does it give you more? Oh, it, it gives you four. Oh, hold on. Put you back down. It gives you four per. Oh, that's actually really nice to know. I did not realize that. Instead of getting two, getting four per. That's now you're talking my language. All right. And the two leads and a stick. Stick, lead, lead, and hammer away. All right. So we're going to have to check this press out here. Um, horse press. What exactly does the press do? The press is used 
in crafting. It is used to make tiny coal into regular coal and regular coal into big coal. Ooh, you can make dirt. <laughs> That's useful, right? Um, oh, okay, so we can press those, uh, I forget what they're called, the little shards and stuff like that from uh, Abyssal Craft. And then this unfamiliar item into this unfamiliar item. Okay, so this wasn't all that useful to make right now, but it's okay. We're gonna set you down right there, and you're just gonna you're gonna do your thing for right now. I'm not worried about the coal and stuff like that. So it's all okay. it's all good. And why? Oh, press charcoal into a larger block using. Well, I don't have charcoal. I haven't made charcoal. How do you make charcoal? Because the kiln makes. That's a good question. Do you make it on the grill? Oh, grindstone. Uh, oh, you turn low-grade car charcoal into... Ooh. That's interesting. Okay, and then the uses for this in the press. Was it one or was it a bunch? Because that'd be really cool if you could just turn one piece of charcoal into like a charcoal block. Yeah, nine of them. Okay, that just makes sense. Interesting. Um... Well, I guess we can finish getting that achievement done. Um, I need more wood, though, because I need to go make some more low-grade charcoal. Hey, come Oh, my goodness. I need three pieces of wood for three pieces of low-grade charcoal. One, two, three, and might as well take the fourth, too. Oh, there's a fifth one. All right, cool. And let's go make some low-grade charcoal, turn it into charcoal. Oh, this is pretty cool i i'm liking the fact that i'm constantly learning stuff that's really what i'm digging about this it's it's just a constant like you know learning endeavor um so then this was a grinds is that what it does is that how we get charcoal in the millstone or i can do the grindstone or the press oh no well that doesn't make any sense um yeah okay so the grindstone that's easy two And eventually three, eventually three, there we go. And then we'll take that one out. All right, cool. So we're gonna go put these in the grindstone and this will give us charcoal. There you go. Do your thing, horsey. Kick him out of the way. Yeah, just move him. There you go. And then I'll just swap these out, I guess. Hey, you're actually in a valid area. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, so we'll have to maybe carve over there. I don't know if I'm going to really see a need for this press, but I think might as well make it, right? Like, I guess that's kind of how I look at it. Might as well just make it. Um, that's four. So I can just put you in there, right? Yeah. How long do you take? Come on, man. Hurry up. Faster. Yeah. Yeah. Faster. Faster. You taking too long, horse. I got stuff to do. There you go. Does it tell you how many are in there? If it does, I can't see the number. Uh, it says seven. It, like, it's constantly turning, so I can't see the number. That's kind of weird, but yeah, it says seven. Okay. And there's number eight. And there we go. Okay. Okay, so there's nine of them in there. Okay, cool. And now... I'm just going to take you and hook you up to this one. And then we should get the achievement. That's really cool. Oh, it's actually got an animation too. That's kind of cool. Uh, the the fact that you're just smashing coal into like a block of coal. I mean, cool, whatever. Press your luck. Cool. So achievement complete. Let's hook you back up over here. And we'll figure out a, a good place to put you later. But... That didn't unlock anything new. So, sad day. Um, I do want to eventually get to this hopper right here. Oh, wait a minute. Bingo, bango. We can do that. Um, I... Do I want to... Okay, let's go sleep this off real quick. We can do this. Oh, we're so close on time. I was going to be like right at an hour, but I want to do this. I want to get to that other one so I can kind of bring uh, the food... Um, up and away from down in this hole down here and oh you know what I've got a hopper I can use I can use this one right here 
I want to make these these hoppers because I can put them under these things and I don't need the heat source. I don't need the fire. So um, to make the hopper, I remember this recipe, it's a, a cobweb and uh, five of those. And I think I've got some sitting around here somewhere that I didn't use, I think. Maybe I did turn them all into resin. All right, so we need five of those. Let's go find a treat real quick. And thank you for letting me know about that. Shift right click and did I pick them up? I got two out of that one. Well, that wasn't that useful. And now I have five. Perfect. And then I believe it was just strings and sticks to make the spider web, right? Four sticks, five string. Got you covered. One, no, no, wait, those are in the corner. Four sticks, five string is gonna give us the cobweb. Perfect. Then you go there, hopper goes there. What was the rest of the recipe? And then four of those, or five of those. One, two, three, four, five. And bingo, bingo. Got that achievement done. Perfect. And then you're going to go in the middle of, uh, I think I do have a shark's tooth, charcoal dust. Um, no. No, no, no. All right. Well, I guess that solved that problem. I can't make the charcoal dust yet because we haven't gotten to the better month mod stuff, but that's coming up really soon because it's right there after this gear, after my buffalo over here grows up and I can make another cow. Oh, we're, we're getting so close. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I don't have a jump boost right here. Ah. All right, well, we are getting close. We are getting close to getting some really good stuff done. So there we go. I can breed those guys again and make another buffalo. And then, yes, and then we'll start breeding some buffalo up and we'll start having all that stuff. This, I think, was a pretty efficient day. If you, if I do say so myself, I think efficiency was key. And I think we got, I mean, a decent amount done. I mean, not a lot done per se, but we got some useful things. This cart, I'm really digging on. I'm going to try to keep thinking about, you know, possible ways to use that. Ooh, we unlocked something. We unlocked uh, the porcelain stuff for Tinker's Construct. Nice. All right, so yeah, we're gonna be looking at getting to that millstone so we can make some pulverized charcoal, and we're just we're we're trucking along. We're absolutely trucking along, and I'm very very happy. So without further ado, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.